Today, we are going to talk about how becoming a media company helps you fight algorithm updates. So just to cap this one off or to start this one off, really, the concept of building a media company was actually a hot topic at the private event that that we do, the, the founders event. And you know, a lot of people were just talking about, it's really two topics that were hot. One is building a media company. The second one is building a, a team, right? And, and we've kind of talked about that. So a media company at a very high level, a good example of this might be like the hustle. So the hustle sold for an estimated $27 million to HubSpot. And that's one example. So the hustle had the email list. They had the events, they have the podcast as well. And I, they also had a subscription newsletter. Now, Another company called Morning Brew, they sold to Business Insider, and they were mostly like a handful of newsletters. And another company would be uh, one of our clients, uh, Axios. They sold for a couple hundred million dollars. Um, I think it's a little under $600 million or so. So these are all examples of media companies, and we want to talk about how this can help fight against algorithm updates. Yeah, and yes, if you create content, it may not do as well in social. Your SEO rankings may not be as high over time. But here's the thing. If you're a media company, people love the brand. People love the content that you're credit, creating. People will follow you directly. They'll go to your website on a regular basis, just like how I go to CNBC for financial information on a regular basis. I'm not Googling articles and then landing on the CNBC website. I'm just going directly to the CNBC website. And you do that with a lot of sites. It could be BBC. It could be CNN, whatever it may be. A lot of these sites that you read on a regular basis, you just go directly to. Why? because they are media companies. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to be in the newspaper business or article creation business. It's whatever business you're in. You could be selling HVACs, all like care, but you can end up talking and creating content around HVACs, how to fix your HVAC, how to maintain your HVAC, how do you maintain your house? How do you know you're spending too much money on electricity with your heater or AC? Those are all examples of creating content. And the more type of content you create like that, both text form, video form, image form, the more closer you're going to be to a media company. Yeah. And you know, Guy in marketing before, I think his name is Marcus Sheridan, but he used to be known as the pool guy. And then eventually he just became like a the, the content line or the sales line or something like that. But he just taught people how to maintain their pool. And then he became more known for that. And that worked out for him. And so, you know, an example of a media company, it doesn't have to be just an email list. It could be like an SMS list. Actually, that's, that's what my friend does. He primarily just sends messages to people through WhatsApp, Telegram, and then now he's built an email list. But really what we're saying too is a media company eventually becomes something that you know, like, and trust. It kind of is a brand, right? And a brand tells a story at the end of the day. Why, why what does Coca-Cola mean to me? Well, even though I don't really drink Coke anymore, I don't, I don't think Neil does either. But, you know, back in the day when I used to go to McDonald's as a kid, there used to be an old man that would give me a toy along with my Happy Meal and I had a Coke, right? And so that's what the Coke meant to me, right? Now, that's like a that's like a very deep like story, right? That, that's an actual story. But like when you think about, oh, what kind of value am I getting from listening to marketing school or reading this newsletter? Like I read Axios. I subscribe to a handful of newsletters out there. These are all brands in my mind because of the value that they've, they've delivered to, to me. Anything else, Neil? Nope, that's it. All right, that's it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and we'll catch you later.